York's Long Island. There is a federal lawsuit against Democratic presidential nominee Barack Obama. It claims the candidate is not a natural-born citizen of the United States and therefore is ineligible to run for president under the U.S. Constitution. A University of Toledo law graduate is responsible for filing this lawsuit. Fox Toledo's Christy Lee spoke with him, and she's live now with the very latest. Christy. Philip J. Berg tells me since filing this federal lawsuit against Obama in late August, there has been a motion to dismiss the case and a protective order to keep Obama's records private. These motions haven't been decided yet, but Berg is prepared to take the case all the way to the Supreme Court. Berg is a lifelong Democrat, so why is he fighting his own ticket? He told me that and more from his office in Pennsylvania. If we can't enforce our Constitution, especially a candidate for president, we're in real trouble in this country, more trouble than you really want to believe, and, and, and it's frightening. Three qualifications must be met for someone to become president under the U.S. Constitution. At least 35 years of age, a resident of the U.S. for 14 years, and a natural-born citizen. Berg believes Barack Obama does not meet the last qualification. He believes Obama was born in Kenya, and that further investigation reveals he may still be a citizen of Indonesia. Here's a school registration Berg has obtained listing Obama's name as Barry Satoro, after his Indonesian stepfather, Lolo Satoro, and lists his citizenship as Indonesia. Berg says Obama's mother sent him back to the U.S. when he was 10 years old. And one of two things would have happened then. If he went through immigration, he would be a naturalized citizen, not a natural-born citizen. If he did not go through immigration... He today would still be a citizen of Indonesia, and he could be considered an illegal alien, which would mean that he cannot even hold his Senate seat from Illinois. So it's really important that we all look at his records. Factcheck.org claims it has proof of Obama's U.S. citizenship. Berg questions that proof because the website is owned by Annenberg. That is a group where Obama sat on the board of for a number of years dispersing funds. So I would think there's a little conflict of interest there and a little bias on their part. He says proof needs to be in the hands of a judge. Senator Obama, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong, produce the documentation. If you have nothing to hide, stop hiding behind legalism. Let's avoid a constitutional crisis in this country. Ron Rothenbuehler, chairman of the Lucas County Democratic Party, says he didn't know anything about the lawsuit against Obama, but questions Berg's intentions. If it's not a vendetta, then it must be somebody challenging somebody's right to either privacy or the uh, not or questioning the uh, information they've already received. So. Phil Berg's website, chronicling his lawsuit against Obama, has received more than 32 million hits since he launched it in late August. We will have a link to that website and more of my interview with Berg on myfoxtoledo.com. Reporting live, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News, first at four.